Hi, so in this video I'll be talking about SwiftGen. It's a tool to auto-generate Swift code for your resources and make them type safe. So there are some benefits written here, like avoiding any typo, uh, free auto-completion, avoid the risk to use a non-existing asset that breaks your app, and make all this be ensured by the compiler. So here is an example, instead of writing strings directly in your code like this, you'll be able to use enums and write it organized like this. So in this one, if you mis make a mistake, it won't work, like you can see here, and you won't be warned by your compiler. This one, if you write something wrong, you get errors and it will be much more uh, easy to use. So uh, let's begin. We'll start by creating a new app. Let's name it Swift Gen Tutorial. Okay, so these are the files for the new project. Uh, I'm using Xcode 11 beta 7. So next, we'll go to SwiftGen GitHub page. And here you can see a bunch of uh, documentation. So SwiftGen is a tool to auto-generate Swift code for resources of your project to make them type safe to use. And, and here are the installation. For this video, I'm going to use CocoaPods. So uh, let's create a new file here, empty file. I'll name it uh, pod file, remove it from the target. Then we have to uh, we'll use frame, frameworks, target the name of the, the app, so Swift Gen Tutorial, and do. And, okay, so here we do uh, pod Swift Gen. Uh, version, I think now it's 6.1. Okay, this should do it. If you go to terminal, and then go into your project folder and do pod install. Okay, now we need to close this and reopen using the uh, workspace. Okay, so now we have uh, SwiftGen installed. Next step is to prepare this SwiftGen.yaml. This is a configuration file, so you can write which resources you want to generate code for, uh, what is the input and what is the output. So for now, I'll just copy this, go back here and do uh, command end, create a new empty file, name it uh, swiftgen.yaml, remove target, create and here we can copy this. Next, we have to configure this based on our project. So for strings, our input, so we need to pass the location of the base our project. So for this project, it's inside SwiftGen tutorial and then base our project. So 
let's copy this name here. Chain tutorial, base our project. This is to filter the to get just the dot strings file, not storyboards or other files. So we will leave it there. And outputs, we'll use the template called Structured Swift 4, which should work. An output, uh, I, I will create a folder for SwiftGen and then strings.swift, that's fine. So let's create that. So here I will create a new group and name it SwiftGen. So our, the generated code will go inside here. Okay, what else for the assets? Input, let's do uh, again Swift Gen tutorial dot image, uh, not images. It's called assets for me. And then I just have one input, so I'll delete that. An output, let's again use Swift Gen folder. Just as it says. Now we have uh, the configuration file, but we don't have any actual strings and assets to generate these files. But, uh, anyways, let's try to run the command again. So, swiftgen, it says swiftgen not found. Okay. I forgot to add this folder. Okay, save and try again. Okay, it worked. So now we have to go to Finder, see SwiftGen. There is there are two files here that were generated. And we have to add them to our project. So yeah, these are the asset. These are the strings. So no string found. Assets too. We don't have anything. So let's create some resources so we can test this. So first, I will create the localization uh, file. Strings file. Then localizable, localizable dot strings, and let's put it inside Gen tutorial inside uh, base for project. Okay, now we can do something like. Welcome title, welcome. So now, if we run the command again, we can see that it strings. Now we have this welcome title here. Then we can go to our text and instead of doing welcome title we can do uh, localization dot welcome title oops localization dot welcome title and let's run our app Okay, so we have welcome here, like we expected. Now, for example, if we want to add a new language, so we come here, search gen, add 
had the language. It's the Japanese. Select localizable. Okay, now we go to the Japanese streets. That's right. And then Yokoso. I have a video talking about this localization, so if you want to know more about that, check that video out. Okay, so now that we have the Japanese, we can change this to run in Japanese. And run that again. And there you go, you have uh, the string in Japanese. Another thing uh, you can do is to name this uh, welcome.title. For example, welcome.title. Then let's run this again. And now we can do Organization dot welcome dot title. So you can separate the strings uh, depending on this, the screen or something like that, which is pretty useful. Next, let's add some assets so we can test this. So new color set. We'll create some random color pink. Okay, so now we can come here and try it. Foreground color, then you have to create a color. And here you pass the name of the color. So asset dot pink dot name and if you go to the canvas and resume you should get yeah the pink color if you want to separate this into folders you can create a new folder and call this colors and here you have to say provides namespace you have to click this so it works to separate the names now if we run this again you get uh, the strings asset dot So like this, you can separate the assets in different uh, folders. So it's easier to find and organize. Okay, so we have been uh, running this command every time, but that's not very convenient. So next, we'll add that to the build steps so it gets uh, ran automatically. So uh, go into your project, targets, and build phases, and here you press this plus button, and you run script phase, you can name this script gen, so if you add this, it should uh, let me move both compile sources. So now uh, let's change something to test. So let's add a new color. Okay. 
Okay, so we can do command B to build and then change this to colors dot. Okay, now we have the white. So every time you build that Swift gen is going to run and update all your resources. So yeah, you should definitely try it. If you want to generate other things than assets and strings, you can check the documentation. There is also for colors, core data, fonts, interface builder, JSON, uh, plists. Uh, yeah, I guess if you're writing string, uh, directly to your code, probably you should take a look and see if you can find something to stop doing that. So this is all for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks and good coding.